yellow. Hey guys, now as you saw last week we dived HMS Sully. For the second dive today we're diving a really famous wreck in the UK. It's an ex-Liberty ship, a US one called the James Egan Lane, which is meant to be absolutely stunning. Are you looking forward to diving it? Yes, I am. I don't know anything about it, but I look forward to diving no matter what it is, so... Yeah, it's apparently in a max depth around about 19 metres, all the way to 10 metres. It actually appeared in Ross Kemp's uh, show he did the other day we watched, remember? About treasure hunting in the UK. So we're gonna go... You don't remember? You watched <laughs> I think it? I might have been asleep. She might have been asleep at that point. But we're heading off Aquanauts and we're gonna go dive this wreck. So let's jump in and let's go explore this See. famous wreck in the UK. See ya! Bye! As we drop down onto the James Egan Lane, you can see visibility is not that great. But as we said in the intro, this is a US Liberty ship. And what was a US Liberty ship? A US Liberty ship was a ship built to carry cargo built by the Americans during World War II. Now this ship, during its final voyage, it was in convoy of B2C-103 to carry 4,500 tonnes of US Army engineers equipment from Barra, Wales to Ghent in Belgium. She was also carrying motorboats and lumber as deck cargo. She, unfortunately, she was sighted on the 21st of March 1945, sailing 12 miles off Plymouth by U-boat U-399 and was torpedoed on her starboard side between holds 4 and 5. She was badly damaged but was taken in tow by the two tugboats Atlas and Flaunt in an attempt to save her cargo but unfortunately she was breached again just off Whitsand Bay in Cornwall subsequently settled on the bottom and was declared a total loss. Thankfully there was no casualties amongst her crew of 69. Now this wreck has become a very popular dive site in the UK. It's one of the famous ones, especially in the south of England when you're diving it, with the recently sunk artificial wreck in 2004 of the HMS Scully. Now this was a double wreck day for us, so we had just dived the Sully just before this, and this is the wreck I was really looking forward to, because it's been down for so long, and despite being cold, murky green waters, there is loads of life on it. And you can see Polly's trying to keep warm by a little dance because it's cold. The wash temperature was 8 degrees Celsius. But what was nice on the wreck was the amount of life. You can see we have Balam Ras and the very colourful Cuckoo Ras. Now everyone thinks fish are not colourful in the UK but you can see Cuckoo Ras are very colourful. But as we still move along this dive site we are trying to see what we can find because there's a lot of structure, yet Holly is still trying to stay warm because it is freezing as we're saying. But as we move along, we're trying to see what marine life we can find in the wreck. And we find big spider crabs, absolute monsters moving around. We see Pollock cruising around in the background. And what was really nice is the shipwreck, there's still a lot of structure to it. And you can actually go through open parts, kind of a penetration almost, with minimal overhead but it's really cool to just move along between like the skeleton because that's what's really left in this wreck is the skeleton, the shell of the structure of the hold, the hull and you can just see it's deteriorating over the years because it's been battered but there is plenty of penetration in and lots of exits for you. And as we move through the wreck you can see 
the structure as I was saying, it is very skeleton style. It's very eerie, especially that murky green water coming through and everything just looks unsure. And what I mean by that is you don't know what you're looking at sometimes, as you see here. I wasn't too sure of this because you would think that it's maybe for your ropes, lines for anchors, but it was inside the wreck. So it was quite eerie and confusing the wreck when you're moving through it. But it was stunning. Yes, we said it was cold, but as we moved through, you can see you go from hold to hold to hold. And even the visibility was not the best for us. Believe it or not, there's loads of divers here. You can see one, two, three, four, five in there. I can tell you there's actually more divers on the dive right now. These were on our boat for Vaquinox as well. But if you look in the holes, the nooks and crannies, you'll find concrete eels sticking their heads out. Again, as we said before, this is a deep sea fish, and in the, especially in the tropics, but in the UK waters, they're very shallow. Now, as we said, this wreck is around about 24 metres deep, depending on tide. When lower tide, it's around about 21, but it's a beautiful dive site, and I really hope you enjoyed coming out on our last dives in the UK. Coming up next, we're off to head to Egypt in the next few days to go explore the Red Sea. So you guys want to stay around for that, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like and share our videos to help us out. And as always guys, we'll see you next week. There's your sinus. What? Did you say there's your sinus? Yep. <laughs> that hurt. What did it do? It's like the pressure. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, bye. Thanks, guys. <laughs>